Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Ben W, the video series where I get to tackle exactly one question as I walk from my parked car to my office in Denver Public Schools. Today's question goes something like this. What are the stories that are worth telling at a professional learning event? This is once again courtesy of the Digital Educator and Personalized Learning Academy happening at the Byers campus uh, in Denver Public Schools on June 16th and 17th. Um, but this question is really getting to the heart of essentially like, what are the sessions that are worth doing at, uh, at an event? What are the collaborations worth having? And what are the stories, those individual classroom highlights, um, the things that have gone really well or that were challenges for you and that you overcame, what are the stories that are worth telling at an event um, that is about, hopefully, telling stories about the great things that are happening throughout our district and throughout our, um, you know, throughout the, the Denver metro area. And, you know, to my mind, uh, there are many stories that come from teachers that are absolutely brilliant and that only, like, uh, you know, certain individuals can tell. And then there are stories that are essentially just about the mundane amazingness of being an educator. And, uh, uh, one of my favorite teachers in Denver Public Schools, and uh, it's mostly because I've had a lot of chances this year to to really get to know her and her practice, um, but is Paige Dersham, and she posted a, a video yesterday of her and two other teachers who were essentially just talking uh, about their practice and like planning things and figuring out a new tool, and that's what they were doing. And it was beautiful and amazing and like I wanted to see more of that. And it it wasn't necessarily like this incredibly special uh, story. Rather, it was something that was just about being an amazing educator. And for me, there's like nothing better than that. And so, um, you know, like part of, Part of me is really just thinking about how is it that we might just encourage people to tell the the stories of being an educator like what does it really mean to be a great and committed and passionate educator that is balancing their lives uh, you know their their personal life with this profession that they love so much like that alone is a story worth telling there are other stories too that I would like to encourage and I'd like to see. I'd like to see stories and sessions um, about particular tools that have transformed practice and really changed the way in which uh, teaching is happening um, or learning is happening in the in the classroom. I'd love to see stories about um, essentially uh, individual. Uh, situations or even students that have changed uh, their perspective on educating kids. Um, there's nothing more powerful than sort of figuring out that a particular child or a particular situation is emblematic of <laughs> like your own personal philosophy about teaching and leading. Um, you know, th that to me is like really authentic and has a lot of value because if you are doing a session on a, um, a particular uh, solution that you have found because of an individual child or an individual situation, there's something really powerful and, um, and authentic about that. Uh, so I thought I'd do a, you know, just a very really quick uh, Ask Ben W here. Um, <laughs> Uh, that really highlights, like, the stories don't have to be anything magical. They don't have to be, you know, the sessions don't have to be anything that, uh, um, <laughs> essentially that uh, makes you so much different from every other teacher that exists. It is really just having an educator's voice 
and using that voice, using that uh, level of understanding of the classroom and of teachers and of students, and just telling that story, doing a session, sharing the, the value that you are creating for not only those kids, but all kids, to me that's, it's huge. And so uh, if you have thoughts about how we might um, encor encourage people or invite people to tell those stories at uh, DEPLA, please do leave them in the comments. Uh, or if you'd like to ask another question, uh, please do so with the hashtag uh, AskBenW. And I would love to uh, talk it through on my next walk to work. Um, I hope you have a great day of learning.